Y'all were right. If you said that my 21 foot beam wasn't thick enough and that it was gonna bow in the middle, then you were right. Because this six by six beam just isn't cutting it. It's too long of a span and the middle is starting to bow. I don't know how well you can tell in the video, but whenever I put the roof on, it started to get more noticeable. So what I'm gonna do is just put elbows on the sides. I already have two elbows, one on the left, one on the right, and that's just there to help support the beam. But I'm gonna do two more just to give it more support in the middle, and hopefully this prevents it from getting any worse. Luckily they're on top. It's these two pieces right here. These are uh, three by six by tens. These were going to be uh, part of the sawmill base, but I figured out I could use the same tree for all four of the pieces I needed for my sawmill base. So I had these two pieces left over. So I'm gonna get these out and try to make them into elbows. The interesting part is going to be getting it in place to see if it's going to work the way I want it to. All right, place your bets now. Are these Harbor Freight clamps gonna be able to hold up that beam? Write your answer in the comments. All right, Harbor Freight clamps for the win. Now I just need to see if I like the angle of it. It's looking pretty good, but I do only get one shot at this. I think the bottom needs to come down just a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is mark where the elbow needs to be cut. Now I can take the elbow down and make my cuts.
Not too shabby. Now all I have to do is do the other side and then stain it. I'm trying to get them pretty symmetrical. I think the left side needs to go down just a little bit. All right, that looks good enough to me. Let's mark it and then cut it. You can see I put Sharpie marks where my elbow is supposed to lie. That just makes it a lot easier to line up. And I did the same up top. You just can't see it. Doesn't look too bad. Now all I have to do is stain them. The stain I'll be using is the same stain that's on the rest of my sawmill shed. It's the 50% diesel fuel and 50% used motor oil. Wow, that really helps. You can definitely tell it's gonna look a lot better whenever both the elbows are done.
All in all, I don't think it looks too bad. Would I prefer that I didn't have to do this and that my beam was big enough from the beginning? Of course, but I think this will prevent it from bowing anymore, and that's all I can ask for. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.